Hello everybody, welcome to Ternary Game and to a little tutorial on how to download Optifine for Minecraft and shaders as well, uh, but Optifine first. It's actually really simple, so all you've got to do is first search Optifine on Google and then click this one, um, optifine.net, this should be the real one. Um, so click on that and it should take you to this website here and this is just where you download it, so press show all versions because it will just show you the latest one otherwise and then scroll and find whichever one you want. I've already got 1.19.2 so I'll download 1.19.1 .1. and now don't click on anything on here, uh, this is just like an advert which I guess they need to sort of keep up revenue but yeah just uh, unless you want to rent a Minecraft server, probably don't click anything, just press skip. And then it'll take you to the page that you can download it from. Now, I have an ad blocker so there could be adverts around here. Oh, yep, see, don't don't click these guys. <laughs> it just, um, yeah, don't. Sadly, downloading mods and shaders can be dangerous, so you've got to be careful. Anyway, so now that we've got this downloaded, let me just get my downloads folder. Here we go. Now there are multiple ways you could do this. If you just want Optifine as part of a mod pack, then you could just search run and then type in percentage app data percentage and then okay. Dot Minecraft mods and then shove it in your mods folder. You've got to make sure you've got the same Forge version. So I'd have Forge 1.19.1 for example. And I do have a video on how to download Forge if you guys want that and also how to install mods, uh, which is are in the playlist which I'll try and remember to put here <laughs> but you can do that you can also do this as well it's not one or the other but if you just want Optifine on its own uh, then you double click and open the folder and then make sure it's found the right folder for your minecraft so that should be the dot minecraft and then you just press install and there we go once it's done it should do it pretty quickly um, and just say that it's successfully installed then just press ok and open up your minecraft launcher and there we go, it should have automatically made your little profile for it and it'll probably be the first one to come up. If not, just click this little arrow and then go through your versions and you'll find Optifine 1.19.1. Once you've opened up your game, you just need to press options, video settings, and then look, it's made your little shaders folder and there's also all these other things you can change, so like, you know, animations, do you want the flames to move and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you click shaders, I already have some installed, but you probably won't, you'll just have off and internal. Um, but you can just press this shaders folder button thing <laughs> and then it will open up the little shader packs thing for you. Um, you could also alternatively do the run percentage app data percentage thing. Go to your Minecraft folder uh, and then there should be a shader packs thing and double click that. And then just go online and um, search. I typically use CurseForge but use whatever you want and download your shaders. You don't have to unzip them as you can see they're still zipped and you just drag and drop them in here. Please do be careful though guys, because shader packs especially can be really dangerous to get. Um, I downloaded one once and I don't really know what went wrong, it might have been my fault or it might have had some kind of malware in it or something, but like it made my Minecraft stop working, it made everything, it made the sky go black which was terrifying, and then it just made it go really laggy and then I just couldn't open Minecraft at all and it was really weird. So do be careful, make sure you've got your firewalls and everything up, um, but they can be a lot of fun so you know, Please try not to be put off. They are really good. I love shaders, but you've just got to be careful. Use trusted websites and do scans and like scan the files before you put them anywhere and yeah. There you go guys, it should be as simple as that and your world could look like this. Whoa! You can also change the shader settings to make sure it runs the best it can on your computer. So if you go to options again, video settings, shaders, and then the shader options. Not all of them will have loads of settings. Some of them have so some of them have intense menus and some of them just have like two things or some you know, so it depends what shader you get, but you can change whether there's like reflective water or how realistic it is, how much it moves, the distortion, the things like that. Lighting, whether oh something that I love. I think that's hand handheld lights. It's like when you're holding a torch or lava or something, it lights up. I love that. If you don't like the looks of it, you can turn it off if you know, depending on your computer, you can have things on or off. But yeah, right now I'm using complementary shaders, which I got on CurseForge. I think there are different versions of that, like light or medium. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but quite a few shaders have different types. Um, some have extreme, which, you know, as the name suggests, are pretty crazy. You can get ones with crazy effects like motion blur. I personally don't really like that. It makes me feel a bit queasy. But, you know, if you want that sort of kind of realism, then you could go for that. Some of them make, oh, there's one that I want. Please let me know, guys, if you find one that does this, where if it rains, it makes the floor all shiny. I've been looking for one of them for so long and I can't find any. All those ones where like rain or snow will go on the screen. There's just so many awesome options. Or there's just basic ones that sort of make plants swish around. Like, you can probably see. There we go. Oh, you can get ones that do it all. There's really so much range out there, but yeah, just do be careful. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was useful and I'll see you next time. Bye!